Millions of Americans suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's something found even more common among military veterans. 23 ABC Sports Director Stephen Hicks has the story of one local veteran who is using his experience to inspire others. One look at Bakersfield resident Casey Mitchell, and you'll see he can lift a lot of weight. It's impressive enough to watch, but it's downright inspirational when you see that Casey Mitchell was lifting all that weight with just one leg. After growing up in the Central Valley, Casey joined the Army right out of high school and six months later was deployed to Iraq. After his tour, he re-enlisted and was part of the first striker team into Afghanistan. Casualties were all too common. I mean, you can't ever train for somebody to die in front of you or something like that, you know what I mean? You can only just move on and hope to get through the deployment yourself. On one of his last nights before returning, he web chatted with his fiance, saying he'd see her in just a couple days. And then we went out and you know, the worst thing that can happen is, you know, you get hit and that's what happened. An IED blew up right under Casey's Humvee. He survived, but the wreckage crushed his left leg. And after a number of surgeries, he and doctors decided to amputate. He would later get addicted to painkillers. Drinking beer, playing video games. Yeah. I didn't, have, I didn't, I just didn't have to get up and do anything. After a wake up call on a family trip to Disneyland, Casey came home, flushed the pills, and decided to get into powerlifting. I didn't think I could squat because a squat is very hard. There's no amputee that does it. And it's because there's no amputee currently squatting that Casey started to document his progress on social media. And the response has been overwhelming. More than 85,000 people now follow the progress of that one leg monster. If me putting my body through this motivates people and changes people's lives, I mean, shoot, I'll do this. Yeah. So I can't do it no more. Casey refuses to call what he went through PTSD, instead calling it post-traumatic self-growth, a message he recently told kids at his former high school. If I can do it, you can do it. He's even spoken to inmates at the Kern County Jail. If I can go in there and just get one of them when they come out to get away or change their life of some sort, uh, it's mission accomplished to me. Casey's trainer says he's probably the strongest amputee in the country. What he wants, he, he's going to get because he trained so hard for it. But Casey's not content with being that amputee who can squat. He wants to be known as the best. What's more motivating than that? He was just featured in the September issue of Flex Magazine. And next month, he'll be competing in his first powerlifting championship against stable bodies. Well, I set goals and I try to eventually get to them. And it's just like I'm slowly conquering all my goals that I'm uh, going after. With the weight of what he's gone through overcome, he could have the strength to lift more than anyone. Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports. Oh my goodness, changing his life and other people's, that's amazing.